Hello viewers, welcome back. Um, on the last video I made with the uh, repair of the Apple Mac, um, I mentioned that I was using a video scaler to convert the video from the Mac onto a normal standard PC monitor. Um, and there was a few comments made about what scalers I was actually using, uh, things like that. So I kind of wondered whether it might be useful just to show you the equipment that I've got for converting and dealing with uh, with video and explain a little bit about why why I'm using these and why um, having a, at least one video scaler can be really really useful sometimes. So originally I found I needed some video scalers and converters when I started getting into my uh, Quantel paintbox stuff. Um, they operate with uh, YUV um, or RGB video and uh, also SDI on the later models. So I needed ways to convert the output video and the input video um, so I could connect it to other things. Um, so for example, instead of using a CRT monitor on the paint box, I can use a PC monitor by upscaling the um, normal video output onto uh, a PC monitor. So that's really useful for that. Um, and also if I want to convert video from my PC, say, and then put it into my paint box, I can do that as well with a video scaler. Now, because I'm working with SDI quite a lot, um, I'm starting to acquire a fair bit of SDI bits, and that's what most of these bits on the top here are for. Uh, so the first item I've got here, um, this is my um, Arger um, SDI um, down converter. So this converts HD SDI down to normal standard definition. And it also gives me um, analog outputs as well, so I can convert the digital video um, to composite video, RGB, S-video, um, or YUV. So that's, uh, that's quite a handy little unit. To be honest, I actually use this mostly as a <laughs> an SDI splitter because you get one input and three outputs. So that's quite useful. Um, the other bit that I've uh, just picked up recently is an analog to SDI converter. So this allows me to um, input analog video and get um, SDI out. Um, it can actually be done by these uh, TV1 boxes anyway, but um, the um, advantage of this is it also has audio as well, so I can embed audio into my uh, SDI streams. So that's quite useful. Um, the other item is this Blackmagic uh, Hyperdeck uh, shuttle, and this uh, basically records SDI and HDMI um, onto an SSD. Um, but the nice thing about it, it is all fully uncompressed, so um, there's no loss in quality. So that's one of the reasons why I can get such good quality pictures uh, out of my paint box, because I can record the um, uncompressed video uh, directly to this, and then I can just throw that into my PC and then convert it. So if we take a look at the video scalers now, you can see I've got four of them. Um, they're all by TV1, and they're all from the same range. But in the day, that the, these were quite um, high-end units. Uh, the 2355A+, Plus, which I have two here, I think they were about two and a half grand when they were new, so these really weren't cheap. A really nice high spec. Now, when I originally bought um, my first one, which I think was uh, this one here, I was just looking for something that could convert SDI or YUV into um, a PC VGA output signal, uh, just so I could um, get rid of the CRT monitor that I was using on my Quantel paint box. Uh, but once I bought this, um, I think I paid 20 quid for this one. Uh, once I bought it and started using it, I realized that, that the amount of features and options and things you can do with them is actually quite staggering. So I actually spent a bit of time hunting out some other ones as well. So I've got two of the 2355A+, and I've got a, a 2250 and a 2205. Um, actually, that's the plus model. So that's the 2250A plus, and that is the 2205A. Um, all mine are the A variant, which I think was a slightly updated version. I've, to be honest, I've never ever seen one that's not an A version. So, but there are some differences in the maximum resolution that it can operate at. So it's worth noting. 
So in the range of uh, of these models, there are three different types. There's uh, down converters, scalers, and universal scalers. Um, so as you can see here, this is a universal scaler. As these are both identical, so they're both universal scalers. And what that means is you can convert um, up and down and cross conversion uh, with one of these. So you can input SDI, output composite video. You could input DVI uh, and output um, S-video. Or you could input S-video and output VGA. Um, you, the amount of combinations that you can go through with one of these is quite staggering. Um, and uh, you can pretty much pick whatever kind of resolution you want to work in. So. Um, these all work up to um, full HD, so they will do 1080p60, I believe, um, all of these, so that's quite handy. The video scalers um, are really meant to convert um, old standard definition video signals up to PC in high definition uh, resolution, so you'd be inputting something like a composite video signal and outputting it as a VGA or DVI or something like that. The down converters do it the other way around so you'll be um, inputting um, a high resolution signal like um, DVI, HD SDI or something like that and then outputting composite video, S-video, um, RGB, component, that kind of thing. So when you're looking around for one of these, if you do, um, just check the model versions um, there's actually one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten different versions of these. So um, check the spec sheets which are available on the TV1 website before you buy. Now you might also notice that uh, three of these are called Plus. Uh, the Plus models have a few extra features um, that are yeah, not particularly necessary. Um, you can do... Um, keying so you can key two one video signal over the top of another you can do picture in picture and you can do mixing and fading between uh, different inputs so uh, that's quite, that's a ni some nice features but they're not um, not particularly um, important for really doing conversion uh, video format conversion so if we spin these around so you can see the uh, the rear so as you can see, they are absolutely rammed full of um, different ports and options. If we have a look at the 2355A+, uh, so this is a universal scaler. Um, so you can see here that we have all the ones that aren't with the grey border are inputs. So we've got um, RGB and YUV um, that can also do sync on green and sync on Y. Uh, we've got a standard VGA input, uh, DVI. D input, so you've got digital DVI. Um, got S video, composite video, and S uh, SDI inputs as well. So um, covers pretty much all the bases, and it also gives us um, quite a lot of outputs. So we've got um, a DVI I output, so that's got digital and analog on it. Um, we've got S video outputs, composite video outputs, and SDI outputs. So you can really see that. The amount of options you can do for cross conversion is quite um, quite a lot on uh, this particular model. So if we have a look at uh, one of the other ones, so this is a 2250A plus. Um, so because this doesn't have the, it's not a five on the end of the model number. That means it doesn't have SDI. So uh, you can see it's pretty much. Um, similar sort of layout, but now we've got um, two sets of composite video inputs and S video inputs, um, and we've only limited now to uh, VGA and DVI uh, outputs. And on this, um, what model was it? Um, the 2205A, um, we've got a similar sort of layout, but we've also got um, SDI input as well. Um, incidentally, um, you might have noticed these uh, green connectors on the on here. These are for audio switching, um, so you can have a separate audio feed coming in for each one of these and actually switch it through to the output. Uh, another thing you might see on this as well is the RS-232 and IP uh, ports. Um, you can operate these with some PC software, um, either by RS-232 or over the network. Um, the software is 
quite flexible and allows you to control all, pretty much all of the front panel functions from your PC. And it's intelligent enough to um, to cope with multiple units. So you can um, tell it you've got four units and their IP addresses, and it just brings it all into one single app, so you can control them. So that's quite cool. Now, one of the really nice features about these is the amount of options you get for controlling the input video and the output video. Um, there's tons and tons of different uh, things to do, uh, deinterlacing, to do noise reduction, interpolation. Um, you can control the, the picture size, the cropping, color balance, saturation, contrast. Um, on the RGB and YUV inputs, you can control the individual levels of the YUV channels and RGB channels. You've got a ton of different options when it comes to outputting as well. So you can go everything from, I think the lowest resolution it does is about 640 by 350 or something like that. Um, and you can um, go all the way up to um, full 1080p60 output if you wanted to. Um, I think there's uh, 122 resolutions built into these units and there is actually some options in the software to create your own as well. So uh, I'm not quite sure how well that works though. I've not actually tried it. And uh, of course they've got all the options in there for doing things like um, 4x3 to widescreen conversion. Um, that's both on the input and the output as well. So you can input a 4x3 and squash it, scale it, zoom it, pan it around, um, you can flip it um, all different ways uh, and there is some actually quite advanced options especially on the plus the plus versions um, you can actually do frame sync uh, which allows you to synchronize the output video to the input so if you've got everything set up in a, um, a synced environment so all your equipment, equipment is synced together um, you can maintain that sync as well on the output so um, using one of these doesn't disturb that. Uh, so there's tons and tons of different options. Um, they're well worth picking up. Certainly the uh, having one of these in your in your arsenal for solving video conversion problems is, is well worth picking up one of these. Um, if you can't get one of these, then um, see if you can pick up one of the slightly lesser models. So uh, I hope you found that useful and interesting. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.